Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Some of you have expressed this that, sir, you have been coming on YouTube in person and we see now a bunch of videos with your voice over. We would like to see you again. So I thought this would be a great time for me to come again face to face, talk to you. And this is today being the 18th of Zil Hijjah. This is the day when Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anhu, the third Khalifa of the Muslims, he was martyred in Medina. And that itself is a very, very brutal story that how some of the people from different parts of the country calling themselves Muslims have turned people against the Khalifa. And they came to Medina at the time when majority of the people were performing Hajj. These people surrounded the house of Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anhu. And these are the people who got into his house and martyred him. And he was an, a man who was 80 plus years of age. He was an old man. And this is the man about whom the Prophet Sallallahu said that this Uthman is a Shaheed. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called him, gave him a good tiding of being a Shaheed. And as we know that Shuhada have a very high place in Islam. Now let me give you some narrations so that it is very clear to you so that you understand his place. Now this is the man Uthman radiallahu anhu in the, in the entire history of humanity is the only person who had this honor of marrying two daughters of a prophet. He was married to two daughters of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Umm Kulthum and Ruqayya radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. But let's come to the hadith of today. عن أنس بن مالك رضي الله عنه قال أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صعد أحدا One day Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was, was on top of the Mount Uhud. This is in Medina. وأبو بكر وعمر وعثمان And with him was Sayyidina Abi Bakr, Sayyidina Umar and Sayyidina Uthman رضي الله تعالى عنهم And فرجف بهم And the mountain, the Mount Uhud Enjoy in because it was in this. This was a joyous mo mo moment for the for the mount that Prophet Muhammad was on him on on the mount and Sayyidina Abi Bakr, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, radiyallahu taala anhum ajma'in was it? So enjoy started to move a little bit. So Faqala Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Thbut uhud, uhud, stop," and then said. فَإِنَّمَا عَلَيْكَ نَبِيٌّ وَصِدِّيقٌ وَشَهِيدًا On you stand a prophet, a siddiq, and two martyrs. And this hadith is reported by Imam al-Bukhari in a sahih kitab Fadailu al-Sahaba Bab قول النبي لو كنت متخذا خليلا Hadith uh, 3472 also, Imam Bukhari brings it in the manaqif of Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan, also brings it in the manaqif of Umar ibn al-Khattab, and also Imam Tirmizi brings it, Imam Abi Dawood, Imam Nasai reports it in Sunan al-Kubra, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal uh, brings it, uh, and similarly Imam Tabrani brings it in al-Mu'jam al-Awsat, and Ibn Hibban in al-Sahih ibn Hibban, and several other books of hadith. That is just one narration that shows you that Uthman radiallahu anhu on the 18th of Zul Hijjah was martyred in his home. And that was the love of the Uthman radiallahu anhu for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam that he ordered his army not to draw swords or cause any bloodshed in the city of the Prophet. And this was his love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. A day before he was martyred, he saw in the dream the Prophet ﷺ came along with Abu Bakr and Umar anhumah and said, Uthman, tomorrow you do iftar with us. So the next day, the day he was martyred, he was fasting. And he was martyred while he was fasting. Now I'll give you another narration. This story is from Makkah. So you saw that one 
thing happened in Medina. The second one, عن أبي غريرة رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كان على حراء that Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was on the mount where the cave Hira is. Hua and the Prophet was there with Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali wa Talha wa Zubair and these companions were with the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, the four caliphs. The first four caliphs, the Khulafa al-Rashidin, Rashidun al-Mahdiyun, the four of them, on top of that, Sayyidina Talha and Sayyidina Zubayr radiallahu ta'ala anhuma were also there. So for those who have any ill feelings against Abi Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, Zubayr, Talha, listen carefully. فَتَحَرَّكَتِ السَّخْرَةُ And the, the mounts start to move. And فَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِهْدَى The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, Stop! فَمَا عَلَيْكَ إِلَّا النَّبِيٌ أَوْ صِدِّقٌ أَوْ شَهِيدٌ And, O oh mount, on, on you stand uh, a prophet, a صديق. A صديق. Who is the صديق? Also in the previous narration, that is Abi Bakr. رضي الله تعالى عنه and the shaheed are the rest of them we know Sayyidina Umar was uh, was was martyred Uthman رضي الله عنه was martyred Sayyidina Ali رضي الله عنه was martyred Sayyidina Zubayr رضي الله عنه was martyred Sayyidina Talha رضي الله عنه was martyred and these are also the people in the Ashra المبشرة the ten people who are giving the the tidings of Jannah in their lifetime of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم and this hadith is reported by Imam Muslim. Another um, hadith at the Sahih status, in case if you're wondering, um, in Kitab, uh, Kitab Fadail al Sahaba Bab min uh, Fadail al Talha wa Zubair, hadith 2417. Imam Tirmizi reports it in Kitab, uh, in a Sunan Kitab al Manaqib an Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Bab fi Manaqib Uthman ibn al Affan, ibn Habban uh, reports it in al Sahih, Imam Nasai reports it in Sunan al Kubra, Imam Ahmad ibn Hamal reports it in al Musnad, ibn Abi Asim reports it in as Sunan. Now, that itself shows you that it comes in several books of hadith reported by several different muhaddithin. And if you're interested, maybe sometime we can talk about the life of Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anhu in the series of Sirah of Uthman radiallahu anhu. But just to help you understand the importance of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, especially uh, very important companions. And unfortunately, we are living in times that on the social media, on TikTok, on Instagram, Instagram, I haven't found that, found that much, but YouTube and TikTok, we see a lot of these people who have ill feelings against the Sahaba radiallahu anhu have been saying some crazy things about the companions. Some of them would target uh, Sayyidina Abi Bakr, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu directly, sometimes indirectly. Sometimes would target Sayyidina Uthman radiallahu anhu directly or indirectly. And uh, some of these people will target Talha and Zubayr radiallahu ta'ala anhu directly or indirectly. And uh, a lot of them would use Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu's name to target the other companions. And that is the worst thing because these are the people who are not even true to Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu. They're just using his name. They're using the name of Ahl al-Bayt to fulfill their evil intentions. And Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu will also ask these people in the Day of Judgment that why did you use my name to fulfill your evil intentions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from all of these people who use Sahaba's name to, to, to fill uh, hatreds of the other Sahaba in the hearts of the Ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from all of these ill feelings. Remember, uh, companions are extremely important in the life of a believer. An Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu qala qala al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La tasubbu ashabi. Never, never utter anything bad about my companions. فَلَوْ أَنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ أَنْفَقَ مِثْلَ أُحَدٍ ذَهَبًا مَا بَلَغَ مُدَّ أَحَدِهِمْ وَلَا نَصِيفَهُ That if one of you, فَلَوْ أَنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ If one of you will donate as much gold as the sides of the mount Ohad, and my companion uh, just donates something, maybe gold, that could fit in his fist. 
that would or 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 or, or maybe a much lesser quantity than than the mount or had uh, you, you that that reward you can't reach you can't even touch with your massive massive ohad like donations and this is reported by imam al bukhari and imam muslim reports it through abi huraira radiyallahu anhu la tasubu ashabi la tasubu ashabi and then fawalladhi nafsi biyadi and then the similar narration comes forward so it is a muttafaqun alayhi riwayah so anybody who is having any ill feelings against the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or is uttering any nonsense against the companions of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so beware prophet have stopped you from doing anything of this nature well inshallah we'll catch you next time Till then, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.